Hello everybody, welcome to Color Positive Movies. My name is Joe, and last night I got to see Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So let's talk some dinosaurs, and this will be spoiler free, and uh, let's get rolling. All right, my initial impression after I saw the movie, is I liked it, you know, it, it, was, it was all right. Um, it's definitely a mixture of uh, most of Jurassic Parks we've come to know, uh, specifically the Lost World and uh, Jurassic World. And it does give a little nod to the original. You'll notice uh, some scenes throughout this uh, Fallen Kingdom that remind you of the original one, probably because it's the 25th anniversary. But yeah, I thought it was all right. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview so I don't wanna spoil too much. I'll try not to be too vague. So this starts off with uh, a lot of lawsuits. I think it's like $80 million worth of lawsuits. The uh, Jurassic World, that park is shut down and there's dinosaurs roaming around. So the decision has to be made, and this is being made through uh, hearings, is do we save these animals or do we let them fall to the fate of the island? Because the volcano is starting to get really active and it's becoming a real threat. Now Claire, she wants to save as many of these dinosaurs as she can. So she creates this kind of organization slap lobbyist and she's campaigning to the congressmen and women to say, hey, let's save these dinosaurs. Uh, they should be protected under the uh, Dangerous Species Act. And the other side of the argument is, hey, these creatures should never have been created in the first place. We should leave them to the fate of this volcano, and that's that. Now, the decision comes back that they're not going to do any kind of rescue op and save these animals. So obviously Claire's disappointed, and then she gets this phone call from a very wealthy person and family saying, hey, we want to create a team together. We want to include you to go back to this island, save as many species as we can. We got this, you know, this island we can put them on. It's not gonna be a theme park. They're just gonna live out the rest of their lives. It'll be kind of like a sanctuary. Now Claire's on board with this, but she has to recruit slash convince Owen to go because they also want to save Blue. And obviously between the bond of Owen and Blue, they think uh, they can get her off that island as well. Now to round out this uh, team, Claire brings Zaya. She's uh, kind of a veterinarian of sorts. And Franklin, uh, he's a computer whiz hacker and in the hopes that he can plug in and start getting some of the systems on the island operational. Now these four join the bigger operation that's gonna to go to the island, kind of convert leak, get the animals we can, and get them back to like this sanctuary. But of course, it all goes bad. The opening sequence is really good, and the whole uh, story on the island is pretty exciting. And then we get off the island, and then of course the mad scientist we all come to know and love gets involved, and he goes, hey, you know, let's make a super duper dinosaur because the uh, super dinosaur, the Dominus Rex, that experiment went so well, obviously we can improve upon it. So I thought the movie was uh, moving along pretty good. I was enjoying it. Then the second act happened and it's like, kind of just slam the brakes and your car rocks and we're kind of, not quite a standstill, but we're crawling along, maybe in heavy traffic. Um, that might've went along a little bit too much. Um, but then as the third act starts to kick up, it picks up in a big way. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm being a bit vague because I don't want to spoil anything for you because there's some pretty cool scenes and nice, uh, some surprises um, and a little bit of a twist. So I don't want to ruin anything. Just go and experience it for yourself. I will say uh, this was a little more emotional than I thought. I wasn't ready for that. I thought that was, uh, you know, a pretty good addition. I don't know if it completely worked, but... I appreciated it. You know, it did kind of tug at the heartstrings for a little bit. I wasn't prepared for. And obviously throughout the whole theme of the franchise, we get into, you know, morality of it. Should we be cloning things, splicing genes? You know, just because we can doesn't mean we should. Um, you know, it, it does kind of get into that, into the second act, which kind of slows it down. But uh, yeah, you know, it, it's still interesting. And of course, you know, yet again, we have, uh, you know, men who think they can just keep making the same mistake multiple times and get different results, pretty much all in the name of profit and greed. So the story is very similar to what, you know, we've seen as far as, you know, the bad guys in the movie. As for uh, Howard and Pratt, um, they're good. The chemistry's still there. It's just like Jurassic World. They don't do much to really, you know, develop the characters. We don't know much learn much more about either of them. Although we do kind of get an idea of how connected 
Owen is to Blue. Um, that was pretty cool to, to understand how close of a bond that they had. So I say, you know, if you're a fan of the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise, you're going to enjoy this one. Um, it's one of those summer blockbuster, just grab a tub of popcorn, sit back and, and relax, you know, watching dinosaurs run around um, on a screen. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. And I think, uh, I think, again, if you're a fan, you will too. So thanks for stopping by. I'm going to throw up some more videos right here. Uh, they'll eventually pop up. You can check them out. Also, we're always looking for subscribers, so a uh, Color Positive Popcorn logo is uh, going to pop up. Click that and join us. And we're also on Stardust, and a quick shout-out to Stardust. Um, they have these daily giveaways, and uh, I happened to win one, and it was a $10 Fandango uh, gift certificate, and that's what I use to see uh, Fallen Kingdom. Um, if you're asking what the hell Stardust, here's the logo. It's an app. You can download it. Uh, it's a bunch of movie reviewers. You can do 30-second reviews. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I recommend you check it out and let me know what you thought about Fallen Kingdom in the comments below. Love to hear what you thought, if you liked it, if you didn't. And uh, until next time.